Hello everybody, this is Symphonic Elk, and welcome to my Uncanny X-Men Extravaganza, where I go over key issues from uh, around issue 300 to, well, not issue 1, uh, and some ones that are probably just key-ish, key lights. Um, today, we are joined by Darth Vader. My six-year-old son made him yesterday, and at first I was like, that doesn't really look like Darth Vader. I didn't tell him that, obviously. And then I realized, this is Darth Vader with his helmet off. So, anyway, thought I'd, uh, I'd share that with everybody, and I guess I'll get started. So, the first issue that I have is X-Men number 283. It is the full, first full appearance of Bishop, uh, mostly, but also Malcolm and Randall. I have 282, the first appearance of Bishop, Malcolm, and Randall, but this is a cameo. And these are actually from my personal collection from when I was a kid, hence the um, less than stellar condition. Uh, I have X-Men 281, it's the first appearance of Trevor Fitzroy and the new team. I have 268. It's a famous cover by Jim Lee and a really awesome cover. This uh, was a book that I was thrilled to have as a kid. Um, pretty much the coolest cover I, I knew of at the time. Turns out probably not the actual coolest cover, but I enjoy it still in my old age. I have number 266. This is the first appearance of Gambit. I have number 257. It's the first appearance of Jubilee in costume. I have 248. This is the first appearance of artwork by Jim Lee in X-Men. And this is the second print. You can tell by the gold background. I have the first print, but I couldn't find it. I have a really terrible copy of 244, which is the first appearance of Jubilee. I have number 221, which is uh, the first appearance of Mr. Sinister. I have number 213, which is when Psylocke joins the team, and it's a famous Sabretooth Wolverine cover. I have number 210. This is the first appearance of the Marauders, and it's a cameo. Moving on. I have number 200. This is when Magneto becomes headmaster of Xavier's Academy. I have number 194. This is the first team appearance of Andrea and Andreas Strucker. They become Fenris. I have number 166, the first appearance of Lockheed. I have number 141. This is when Days of Futures Past uh, begins. I have 138. This is when Cyclops leaves the team. I also have number 134, it's the first appearance of Dark Phoenix, which I apparently forgot the K when I made the label. I have two copies of 129, it's the first appearance of Emma Frost, the White Queen, Sebastian Shaw, the Black King, Kitty Pride. it's the first team appearance of the Hellfire Club, and this is when the Dark Phoenix saga begins. I have issue number 122, and this is the first appearance of Mastermind. I have 121. This is the first full appearance of Alpha Fight. 120 is the first cameo appearance. I have issue 107. This is the first team appearance of the Star Jammers. It's the debut of the new Wolverine costume and the first team appearance of the Shi'ar Imperial Guard. I have issue number 144. It is the first cameo appearance of the Star Jammers. And the first appearance of Corsair, who is Havoc and Cyclops' father. Now on to some of the better titles. I have issue 101, which is the first appearance of Jean Grey when she's overtaken by the Phoenix Force. It is also the first uh, full appearance of Black Tom Cassidy. 
I have issue 95. It's the death of Thunderbird. The third appearance of Nightcrawler, the first time BAMF is used to signify that Nightcrawler is teleporting. I have issue 94. This is when the new X-Men series begins. I have Giant Size X-Men, which really needs no introduction. This is the first new team. Uh, it's also the first appearance of Storm, Cyclops, Nightcrawler, Thunderbird, and the second appearance of Wolverine. I have issue number 42. It is the quote-unquote death of Professor X. Of course, it really wasn't the death. Hate to spoil that for you, but the comic is older than most of the people watching. I do find it interesting in the cover that he is falling out of his wheelchair. Man, Beast, he looks angry. Everyone else looks surprised. Beast, and man, maybe Angel too. They look angry. And I also have issue number 28, the first appearance of Banshee. I have Issue number 20, this is the third appearance of the Blob, an origin of how Professor X lost the use of his legs and why he was falling out of a wheelchair in issue number 42. As people have probably seen before in my haul videos, I have issue number 14, it's the first appearance of the Sentinels and Dr. Bolivier Trask. I have issue number 12, the first appearance and origin of the Juggernaut, also the origin of Professor X. I have issue number eight, who is Star's first and not least, Unis the Untouchable, a classic X-Men villain that everyone should have in their collection. And lastly, if you've watched one of my more recent hauls, you know that I picked up X-Men number three, and that is the first appearance of the Blob. Anyway, thanks for joining me today, and watching, listening, and just spending a little bit of your time. Have a good one.